In this video, I am comparing the Session software with HoneyBook CRM software. My name is Amy. I am the owner of Amy Lynn Creative. I'm a brand photographer and videographer and a casual YouTuber. Um, on my YouTube channel, I do videos about camera comparisons and software comparisons, um, and you can find those all on my channel. Let's dive into this. Now, first of all, I want to clarify um, we're not really comparing apples to apples here. HoneyBook is a full CRM, customer relationship management software. Session is not a CRM. And in fact, they very specifically say they are not a CRM. They don't want to be a CRM. So these two are technically not competitors. In my personal opinion, they're not direct competition. However, a lot of people wonder which one is, is right for their business. So I want to walk you through both of these softwares so that you can get a better idea which might be the best option for you. So let me start off with um, Session since I already have it open. Session is kind of a lighter option, really, really great if you do a lot of mini sessions or a very, very high volume of sessions. Um, and they tend to be the same process all the way through. You do a lot of mini sessions, you want everyone to book the same way, you want to be able to list out your availability. You can see this is the homepage here. You can create a new session. Um, and then this is just like a sample session here. I will come back to this in a minute. There's a calendar. This calendar does integrate with both Google Calendar and Apple Calendar. And then client list if I had bookings. Um, you can set your availability. You can set your session types. And then it actually has an integrated booking site link um, it's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot of customizing you can do, but clients can go directly to that link and book sessions directly from there. Um, one thing that's really, really cool with Session is that it actually has a Linktree-like integration with Instagram um, that allows you to have kind of that list of links in your Instagram bio. Um, really, really cool. I actually really like that feature of Session. Um, emails. Now, I want to clarify Session is not a CRM. It does not connect to your email provider. So it doesn't connect to your Gmail. These are just templates for emails that get sent out by the software. And I'll show you in a minute how to send those out. You can have contracts in here, questionnaires, um, and then payment actually occurs outside of session. So there's not a way to send um, an invoice because payment occurs outside of session with whatever payment provider you use and you can set up your payment options here with either Stripe, Square, um, PayPal, Venmo, um, and then tipping, etc. And then let's go back up here to session and create a new session. Um, one thing with the software is it is very structured. So if you want a lot of structure to your bookings, you don't want a lot of variety in how the process works, um, this is probably a great option for you. I'm going to set up a mini session day. Uh, mini session. Um, so there's two types of session. You can set up the mini session and then a regular session. A regular session would be like a one-off family session or brand session or something like that. Whereas mini sessions is if you're doing a whole day of sessions, um, like back to back. So here is your little dashboard. I love that when you have a mini session campaign going on, it has its own dashboard here. Here is where you build out your event. So here's the description. You can add your contract. I don't have any contracts in here. You can add a questionnaire. No package. We're just going to say these are $250. You connect your payment provider and then these are the emails so um, this shows you can edit the template and send a test email but these are all going to go out automatically you can hit save now you have all this info you can add the date time and location so let's say we have a bunch of slots it automatically adds them in and you can change the time gap make sure you add a break for food or bathroom break and then you can also do classes workshops and group events which is really really cool all right now we'll save this and we have all our mini session slots in here 
You can add another date if you need to. So another whole day. There we go. So we've got two days on here and then notes. And then you can share this link and this is what it looks like to the customer. So very, very um, simple, very structured. That is session. Let's take a look at HoneyBook. This is the projects tab. There is a home tab as well. Um, I am in the projects tab. You can see here that HoneyBook has a pipeline. HoneyBook is a full CRM, so it is going to integrate with your email. I have it integrated with my Gmail address that I use for my business. And so all your emails are gonna show up in here. So there's like a robot bot thing, Elliot McBot. Um, so that you can see like what an email chain looks like in here. Um, you can see when they're booked. And then it, you can move things down this pipeline. You can customize the pipeline as well and add stages or remove stages. So HoneyBook um, obviously has a lot of options. They have templates. The template feature is very, very customizable. If you were looking for customization and personalization and flexibility, HoneyBook is a fantastic option for you. Invoices, contracts, proposals. Proposals are unique to HoneyBook. Proposals are a combination of a um, listing of services, of the proposed services, and then the contract attached to the bottom, which is really handy. Um, that is how you book people. So you send a proposal, they see the proposed you know, line items with dollar amounts, so this is a this is HoneyBook's like template one, but um, this is what that looks like. So you can line item things, and then down here there's a payment schedule, and then an agreement, a client agreement that they can e-sign. So, um, and then you can also just send a contract without this. You can just send a contract by itself. I don't usually do that, but. I have had reason to just send a contract. And then of course, questionnaires and brochures. Brochures are kind of like, well, they're just what they sound like, they're brochures. So um, when someone inquires, you can send them a brochure with your pricing. If you don't put your pricing or your full pricing on your website, great for wedding photographers or photographers who have a higher price point um, or multiple price points where the client isn't really sure which one they're gonna do. A brochure is a great way to list that out. And this is a HoneyBook example template that we can look at. This, um, just so you know, like this is not designed in HoneyBook. Um, this is just an image. You can actually add images. Um, so people design things outside of HoneyBook and then add them in. So like this little section here is created in HoneyBook and this is not. I know that's really confusing. It's a lot simpler once you start messing with it, but I just wanted to throw that out there that that is not all created in HoneyBook. Um, but this is how you could make it look if you wanted to. So this is like another image that's added. Um, but you can create, and then these are the line items and you can create templates for these line items, which is really cool. And these, I mean, this is a template as it, as it is, you can have it all created ahead of time and then just send it to your client. Um, really, really professional and um, this is a free template from Gallery. You can also create those in Canva. So those are your templates. Um, the libraries where you can upload image, like your brand images and um, stock images that you wanna use. Automations um, is where you can set up a workflow that some of it will go automatically, some of it um, you have to create a task for it. Um, emails, you can tell it to wait for your approval before sending, which I always do because I don't ever want an email accidentally going out to someone um, when it shouldn't. Um, you cannot send invoices or proposals via a workflow. You can put a task in there. It's not automatic, just a heads up. Um, I ran into that recently because it's kind of annoying. I think they're going to add it eventually, but I think there's some things that they have to do first. Anyway, calendar. Um, I'm not going to show you that, but it integrates with 
Google Calendar and Apple Cal Calendar, very similar to Session. Actually, I think it just integrates with Google Calendar, but you can integrate your Apple Calendar with your Google Calendar, so it's an extra step, but it's the same thing. I actually have a whole YouTube video about that, and if I remember, I will link that up above. Otherwise, you can find it in my videos. Um, HoneyBook also has a very fabulous referral program, and I can give you 50% off your first year, so I will put that link in the description. Scheduling. Okay, now, this is not the same type of scheduling as session. Session is for booking sessions in certain time slots. These are for um, setting up calls with your clients, complimentary things. Um, there's no way to book something through them, but they can select a time. So you could technically do many sessions this way, but there's still extra steps you'd have to do in HoneyBook before they could book. So that is an option. I use this for discovery calls for my clients. I'm a brand photographer, so I usually do discovery calls with my clients before they book. Tasks, you can have your task list. There is a time tracker. Finances, you have reports, payments, um, expenses, profit and loss. So I would not consider this full bookkeeping, but it is fairly handy. I do use it for tax purposes, um, but I would still recommend, um, it does integrate with QuickBooks and I would recommend using that integration if your business is at that point. Most bookkeepers would prefer that you use QuickBooks anyway. Okay, so there is a contact form. Um, I love this contact form. I have it embedded on my website. Very simple. You can create all the questions in your contact form. Super, super handy for lead generation. You can do all these different things. And then some of these, um, like the project date field, will fill in your project. So let's say they put a date in that field. It will show up under details here. And I just want to show you, um, I don't think I showed you this before in HoneyBook, um, the activity these tabs here. This is your email chain, files, whether proposal, the contract, questionnaire, payments, have they paid in full yet? And then the project details, um, where you can add notes that are private to you, which is very, very handy. All right, so I apologize that HoneyBook explanation went a little longer than planned. Um, for the record, I do use HoneyBook. Um, I think I mentioned that already, but if I didn't, HoneyBook is what I use. I love it. Um, and then session. So, um, let's do pros and cons. Um, oh, pricing. Session is $19 a month. Yep, $19 a month. And HoneyBook is $39 a month. So massive difference in pricing. I do understand that HoneyBook is absolutely um, an investment, but that is a software that will grow with your business, which I think is really important because then you're not having to switch midstream. There is an incredible amount of extra energy that goes into switching a software midstream. When you're crazy busy, your software is not cutting it anymore. You need something better, but you're too busy to switch. Yeah, that's what a lot of people end up getting into and not something I want to see you deal with. So highly recommend HoneyBook. It is an investment. They do have a $9 a month option when you're just getting started. Um, and that is up to 10K in bookings. So once you get to $10,000 in bookings, you have to upgrade to the $39 a month. The bit, One of the big differences between these two softwares is HoneyBook is all about customization and customizing the process and making giving you lots and lots of options. Session is meant to be more pared down and simple and good for quantity. One big, big pro of HoneyBook, I would say, is that it allows you to integrate with your email inbox, which means that your client emails are all in one place in your CRM, whereas with Session, they're still mixed in with your other emails in your email inbox. Another thing to note is that in Session, refunds have to be run through your payment processor, so you'd have to go to stripe.com or paypal.com to process the refund for your client, whereas with HoneyBook, you actually can process a refund within HoneyBook because it integrates with Stripe. Everything has to go through Stripe, um, but you don't have to deal with any of the billing stuff. HoneyBook really takes care of all of it for you, um, which is really, really nice. Two questions I highly recommend that you ask when you're choosing a software It are, does this software solve my current pain points? Okay, so what are the things slowing you down, causing you frustration, or making you lose money in your current business? And will this software solve those problems? And more importantly, is this a software that I can grow into as my business grows? So for me, I invested in HoneyBook very early on in my business. And yes, it was a massive investment, um, but it's totally been worth it because it's been grown, it gr has 
grown with my business and there are still features I don't take full advantage of, but that I can grow into in the future. Um, Whereas with session, maybe I wouldn't have had that. So um, that's just something to think about when you're choosing a software. Um, Again, these are both really great options, but only one of them will probably work the very best for your business depending on where your business is at and your business model. I hope this video was helpful in helping you decide which option is best for you. Again, um, if HoneyBook is your first choice, there is a 50% off your first year link in the description that you can take advantage of. Um, And if you have any questions, feel free to comment.